After a week off, the Terps football team is looking for a bounce back win, and they're going to go for that victory following the arrest of one of their most important coaches. WMER 2 News' is Sean Stepner has the latest for us tonight from College Park. Well, this is a University of Maryland football team looking to get back on track after a pretty bad loss. The 5-2 and two Terrapins visiting 3-4 and four at Northwestern on Saturday. The Terps have had 10 long days to think about that brutal home upset defeat at the hands of Illinois two Saturdays ago. An Illini team that is only 1-4 in the Big Ten. Mike Loxley's crew is 2-2, two and two, using their bye week to regroup, refocus, and turn the page. They need to live up to those lofty preseason expectations they put upon themselves publicly. If they want any shot at those conference championship hopes they were throwing around a couple of months ago, they need a win over the Wildcats. Northwestern has our attention. I think uh, what happened at Illinois, um, the, the, the silver lining for us is that, you know what, we have to show up and play to our standard uh, because just showing up is not uh, enough. We have to make sure that we pay attention to the details, uh, to be ready to go out each, each week and play, you know, to the best of our abilities. Uh, just emphasizing, you know, starting strong in games and then finishing stronger and then everything will come together. The Terps head into this game dealing with some off the field issues as well. Associate head coach and co-offensive coordinator Kevin Sumlin arrested in Florida early Saturday morning, charged with driving under the influence. Loxley says Sumlin is not with the team this week. We're aware of the charges. Uh, it's disappointing. You know, as coaches, we have to set the example and model the behavior that we want our players. But with, and we take it very seriously. Um, at the same time, I will also say uh, he's part of our football family and we're going to support um, Kevin. Um, you know, to me, that's it's a personnel issue. Loxley adds he does anticipate someone facing disciplinary action, but would not elaborate. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.